Hey love, so I decided I wanted to do a nail tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you how to do these ombre nails. I've already done one side, so I'm going to do the other side. Um, I've already done my nail care routine, which is I put on um, the cuticle and skin gel from Nail Teaks. And then I use my nail moisturizer. And after that, I put on my um, oil therapy on top of my nails. And then last, I use the Nail Teaks um, Formula 2. I'm going to shut my window. And so all you're going to need for this tutorial is whichever nail polishes you want to use to make an ombre look. I'm going to be using the Beverly Hills by Sinful Colors and Sephora by OPI Who's Spinning tonight. And then a little cup of water to moisten the sponge. So first you're going to moisten, we're going to moisten the sponge and just wring it out a little bit. And then I'm actually going to put the nail polish on the sponge. I wet it so it doesn't soak up all the nail polish, but it's easier to stipple the color on. So I'm just going to place like a line of color. About a quarter of an inch thick. It depends on how long your nails are. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, since I want the darkest color to be at the root of my nail, I'm putting it at the top and then I want the lightest to be at the bottom. So I'm going to put the light color just at the bottom. And you repeat this um, when the color starts to fade. I'll show you in a second. So I'm taking my thumb and I'm just going to press it onto my nail and pat it. And then I'm going to do a rolling motion. And at first it's going to be really light, so you're just going to keep building up the color. So I noticed that was too light, so I need to add more. I just like it because it's kind of like a fun summer thing to do. I'm um, sorry if my voice is kind of weird. I kind of have a little bit of a head cold. But yeah. So then you just go back and stipple. And I just bring the color up and down. Like so. And then it begins to blend together. And I actually notice I need to bring my lighter color down more. So it's kind of like just going back and forth. But once you get a hang, the hang of it, it goes really quickly. So just go like these and go back and forth. And then I let that dry a little bit and I go on to my next nail because I'm going to do two coats. And so I just start stippling like that. You can see the color coming up. And I just stipple and I roll and I roll back and forth like in rolling motions. I'm actually going to move the water since I don't need that anymore. I'm just stippling. And then I'm going to put a little bit more color and go on to the next nail. I'm actually going to speed this up and just keep going. And then I'm finished, so I'm just going to put a top coat on. And I'm going to be using the Sally Hansen No Chip Acrylic Top Coat. And I'm just going to do that on both sides. So then it has a glossy finish. Because since you are stippling, it's going to look a little bumpy. But by putting a top coat, it smooths it all out. And it'll look like so. And then I'll just finish my hands and put a picture at the end. Thanks for watching this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye.